Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored Never Boring. Quite some time ago, the lovely members of the Always Bored Never Boring Members Club voted on which Masters of the Universe Battleground character I should paint next, and the winning pick by quite a margin was Trap Jewel. Well, frankly, I have been keeping those members waiting far too long, so today we are finally going to get some paint on one of my favourite evil warriors. This is a great miniature with a cool dynamic pose, and it's faithful to the action figure from the Classics line, which isn't too far removed from the old action figure I had as a kid. All the same elements are there, they are just a bit more detailed. And so, for matching up the colours for this miniature, I am going to be leaning on the appearance of the action figures rather than Trap Jewel's appearance in the mini-comics or the Filmation series. To get started, I have undercoated him with Army Painter Matte Black, because that's going to make it easier to do the first stage, which is painting all of his black armour and mechanical bits and pieces. For this, I am going to start by dry brushing those areas with a light grey. I am using Uniform Grey from Army Painter, but any light grey will do. And this is the messy bit of the painting, so I am not worrying about getting grey on the other areas of the miniature. In fact, that can help when painting a miniature undercoated with black, as it helps you to see all the detailing on the piece. After the first dry brush, I'm switching to an even lighter grey, Administratum grey, and I'm doing a second dry brush, focusing more on the raised areas and the parts of the miniature where light would be more likely to hit. Finally, I am switching to Army Painter Ash Grey for a really focused dry brush on the edges and top surfaces. Once that's all completely dry, I'm going to grab some Army Painter Grim Dark from their Speed Paints range, and I'm going to apply a really heavy coat of this over everything I previously dry brushed. And what we should end up with is something black that still has a lot of nice definition on the detailing. And if you try something like this and you're worried you might be ending up with something a bit too grey, you can always try dry brushing with greys that have a little blue in them like Wolf Grey. Just experiment with it and see what looks best for you. For me, I'm happy with what I've got here, so I'm moving on. Next, I want to work on Trap Jewel's blue body, so I'm going to start with Ultramarine Blue, again from Army Painter. This is quite a thin paint, so it only needs a little thinning down to make sure we get a smooth coat. And in fact, I'm going to do two coats of this, which is important because I am going over a black undercoat, and I want really good coverage. And of course, I need to be careful here, as I don't want to get blue on the black areas that I've already painted. Then I'm grabbing an Army Painter Blue Tone, and I'm going to apply this over all the blue to really bring out the details and provide recessed shading, while also making the colour more vibrant. Then it's back to Ultramarine Blue, which I'm going to keep nice and thin, and then I'm going to start building up layers of colour on the raised areas of Trap Jewel's muscles. After two coats, I'm going to add just a little electric blue to brighten things up a little more, and then do another two coats. And you can keep going, adding lighter blue and building up layers for as long as you want but I was happy at this point. So it was time to move on to the green. For this, I wanted a really bright green, so I went for Moot Green from Citadel, but I wanted to tone it down just a little bit, so I added a very small amount of Death Guard green. This ended up being a mix of around 5 to 1. And this is going to go on the face, the belt, and then the ribbing on the front of the thighs. I believe the Classics action figure also had some green panelling on the left arm, but I want to keep that all blue, so it's a little more like the colouring from the original action figure. With that dry, it's time for an Athonian Camo Shade Wash. This is for recess shading, but also just to make sure everything pops, while still having some good depth of shading. I then went back to Moot Green to build up some thin layers of highlights on the most raised surfaces. Next up is the Helmet and the Loincloth. I went for a slightly darker version of the colour mix I used for Orko's Cape, so I used four parts Screamer Pink and one part Evil Sun Scarlet. I was really happy with this colour, and laid down two coats before switching to Caraber Crimson to apply a wash over those areas, being really careful not to get any overspill. Then when that was dry, I used my Screamer Pink and Evil Suns mix to do the first highlight on the raised areas, before adding a tiny dot of Pink Horror to brighten everything up for a final highlight. And I was very happy with how that turned out. There is a ridge on the top of Trap Jewel's helmet, I didn't forget about that, I used Ash Grey to which I added the slightest hint of Alien Purple, just to give it that little tinge of purple. I applied two coats of this to the ridge of the helmet, and also to the staples on Trap Jewel's chest and back scars. At this point we are almost done, but I wanted to do his eyes, so I used some Avalon Sunset to line in the eyes, and then I thinned down a little Abaddon Black, and used a fine brush to dot in the pupils. Eyes are always a pain, but if you can get them right, they add so much character to a miniature, and I think these didn't turn out too bad. And with that done, I just have to do the base. 
I did this the same way as always, two coats of Zandru dust over everything, then I painted the loose branches on the ground with Steel Legion drab before giving everything a heavy coat of Agrax Earthshade. Then I highlighted the stones with Zandru dust, painted the arrow on the base with Abaddon black and painted the rim with Steel Legion drab. With that all done, Trapjaw was finished other than needing a coat of matte varnish. And I'm pretty pleased with this. Hopefully you have found this video interesting because that is it from me for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please consider pressing the like button. If you really enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing if you don't already do so. And hopefully I'll see you all again very soon. Bye bye everyone. Bye bye.